Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, and today we'll be taking a look at some more gameplay in Far Cry 3. That's gonna include me driving terribly off-road. <laughs> Alright, so here's the deal guys. What I've decided to do today is show you a little bit more Far Cry 3 footage for a couple of reasons. For one, I think the game's amazing, but also, freaking YouTube. So I made the first 40 video. If you've been following my channel, you know, that's just kind of my general game coverage of new releases and stuff. Well, <laughs> driving's awesome, by the way. I made the first 40 video, and YouTube decided not to finish processing it. It's been like over a day and a half, and the video is still only available in 480p. So, I was, first of all, incredibly frustrated by that, but also, like, what am I gonna do? Like, I want people to see some, some high-quality Far Cry 3 coverage, because this game is beautiful. And I also thought I'd like to talk a little more about the game, because the game is not only beautiful, but it's uh, very well made and very entertaining. So the logical conclusion for me was, just make another video. It doesn't have to be a first 40, it doesn't have to be whatever, you know. I can just make a video of footage of the game and you guys can watch it and enjoy it. And that's what's going to happen, so... Welcome. Watch and enjoy. Uh, my game plan is to show you all the things I've done since the last video, uh, what's changed, what I've acquired, and also spend some time going around the map. What is this? Is that a turtle? Look at these old turtles. That's cute. Um, also, I want to go around the map and uncover a bunch of watchtowers with you guys. So, the, the main goal of this video will be to unlock some radio towers. I'll get at least two of them, maybe three. Again, not going to focus on the story quest. Uh, now, when we last left off, I'd uncovered these two areas. Since then, I've uncovered a couple more, and I played for at least a few more hours. Also progressed through the story and stuff. But we're just going to focus on unlocking some radio towers and uh, updating you as to uh, where I am in the game. Uh, speaking of which, why don't we go ahead here and take a look at some of the things that I've got. So, you can see I now have all weapon holsters, meaning I can carry up to four weapons. So, uh, if you missed it last time, this game's crafting system, you collect skins from animals and plants, and you use this to make things like, uh, you know, healing, healing syringes, and hunting and combat, and exploration syringes. You can also make weapon holsters to carry more weapons, wallets to carry more money, uh, larger rucksacks, I've actually made a few of them, I just need to make the last one to be able to store more loot, and then syringe kits to be able to store more syringes. And then you can also make these ammo pouches so that you can have more ammo for your various weapons. And actually, I've made a few of those, all but the last one. I need some golden tiger leather. I don't freaking know. <laughs> also some arrow quivers. I might try to do that, though. What do I need for the arrow, for the regular arrow quiver? Just some goat skin? I can find some goat skin. So we'll do that. We're, that that's going to be our plan here for this video. Who's squawking at me? This guy. Anything else, buddy? You got anything else to say? Huh? No, I didn't. Oh, we're, your friend's here. Okay, that's bad news, bears. All right, let's heal up. Heal up here a little bit, and oh no, another friend. Hello. These guys are obnoxious. Are there any more stupid turkey birds around here that I gotta worry about? Another one? What are you doing, turkey birds? Anyone else? No? Okay, let's keep going. What the heck is going on in this video? All right, so our focus is gonna be go to the watchtower, radio tower. Oh, some friends, hello. I'm in a world of what? Anything else? No, I didn't think so. Let's loot their bodies. Uh, so what I've been doing once more, besides the main story quests, which, you know, you could, as far as I can tell, you could spend 24 plus hours exploring this game and not even get past the, the starting little quest. Tigers! Get off me! Spam and mash face bar! Smash them in the face! <sighs> oh, tigers! Really? Where did he come from? How did I not see you? Super sneaky, stealthy animal! This is what happens in Far Cry 3 in this dynamic world. I get a regular tiger skin. I need a golden tiger skin, dude. Why aren't you golden? What's wrong with you? Believe in yourself. I believe in you. I'm gonna gather some of these. All right, focus. ADD, be gone. Focus on getting to where I need to go. I can't get there from here, can I? Gosh darn it. I could go get this thing, though. Let's go get this right here. 
Okay. That's nothing. All right. We'll heal, our heal ourselves up again. Oh, broken hand. No problem. Let me just readjust that for you. There you go. All right. So we're going to go up here. We will climb the radio tower. We will find out what's going on in the surrounding area. And then we will take out a few outposts because that is fun. And that is the kind of thing that you can do in Far Cry 3. I bet there's going to be some bad guys up here. Uh, sometimes I'll clear out the outpo outpost before I go to the radio tower. Because when you do that, if you do the nearby ones, a lot of times you don't have to worry about... Alright, so those guys are bad. They will attack me if I go near them. A buffalo, I believe. And I don't hear the guy who is yelling. Oh, someone coming down right here. Ah, oh, frick it. Forget it. Hey, you. Hey, how you doing? Did I get your attention yet? <laughs> Love it. All right, ready? Oh no! Pull the bullet out. Okay. So we got a guy up here. Let me try to arrow his face. Yeah, he's like protected there. Oh my lord! Get away from me! Heal myself up, please. Okay, I'm gonna just go for a sniper shot for him because I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it anymore. He's protected by some sort of a uh, thing there. Who's detecting me from down there too? Are you kidding me? There we go. We got this guy over here. Take him out. And then here are their friends. Here come some friends. Not my friends, their friends. Get off of there. Alright, I need to get out of here. They're gonna call reinforcements or something. <laughs> the heck out of here. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and climb this radio tower. Check out the surrounding area. So Force, you've played the game for a few more hours. Yes. Uh, you made that co-op video. Yes, indeed. Are you still enjoying the game? Absolutely. I, you know, again, I have to, I have to repeat myself from last time. If you guys were just listening to me the first time, I wouldn't have to do this. I have to repeat myself from last time. I am so pleasantly surprised. I was not a, again. I heard about earlier this year. I'm like, oh, Far Cry Three, cool. Follow up to Far Cry Two, awesome. Shrug. That's what I said. I, I didn't even do shrug. I just said shrug. I said shrug. Like, I don't expect much from that, but this is well worth it. Um, the one thing I haven't done that I am meaning to do for you guys is do some coverage of the multiplayer. I don't know if I'm going to do a first 40. Now, I did the co-op. The multiplayer is just a competitive multiplayer. You know, they've got uh, like a domination, like, you know, capture the points and stuff like that. They've got team deathmatch, all sorts of the things that you expect. It really just plays like any modern shooter. I guess just think Call of Duty, like you've got loadouts and stuff. You've just like a perk system, you know, it's, it's all that stuff, pretty standard, you know. Um, they've got a kill cam and stuff too, but I'm not gonna take this whole time to explain it. The point is that I'm probably going to do a video. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be. It might be a first 40. The reason I'm not, the reason I'm doing this instead of that right now is because it's really buggy right now. Uh, sometimes matches, there'll be a full lobby and it just won't start. And not because the host isn't starting it, but because it's just bugged to the heck. So uh, that's been happening a lot. And because of that, I'm making this video instead of a multiplayer one for that very reason. All right, so we have this radio tower. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to take out these outposts. So you notice this red hue, uh, that's basically where the opposing faction in this game, that's the area that they're patrolling and that there, there is going to be their troops. Now, if I take out this control, this c command center, control post, there's a proper word for it, I'm sure. Once I take that out, they lose that red vicinity and then I'll grab this one, they'll lose that. And then uh, my buddies will then be in control of this area. So that's how that works. Um, we're going to need to go down there. Why don't we take a zip line, huh? Best form of travel here on the island. And it's really very wise when coming up against these outposts to play stealthy. The reason that's it's wise is because there's two things you can do. Number one, 
is you can... Oh, those guys will attack me. Gotta be careful. Uh, you can unhook the alarm, and without the alarm, even if they spot you, they can't call for backup. And that's the other reason, you know, you gotta worry about backup and stuff. So, playing stealthy, it's gonna be the easiest way and the quickest way to take out these areas. And I gotta be careful, I don't want them to see me. Because then I'm gonna have to shoot them, and then all these guys are gonna realize that I'm here, so. So you notice he's a predator. That's the mark that he's got above him. So we actually have a lot of guys over here, and they have dogs as well, so... Uh, the real th I need to really make sure that I get that alarm taken care of. So let's go ahead and hit M. And zoom in nice and close. Can't quite see it from here. I know that there's an alarm. Though, I think I'll be able to see it on the mini-map in the lower left if I just get a little bit closer. Again, just worried about these wildlife, because they can and will ruin your day. And for the sake of staying stealthy, gonna grab my, uh, bow and arrow here so we can do some silent kills. If I feel like doing it at ranged and without the knife. And I'm gonna be able to get this guy right here without anyone knowing. So there is one kill. Alright, now I've got to find... I can't quite see where the alarm is. Uh, which is a little cause for concern here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you see the alarm on the minimap right now? It looks like I'm on the opposite side of this place to get to that alarm. That blinking thing, that's a trial. Uh, I don't really care to do that. It's not what I'm really focused on right now. Oh, there's the alarm. The alarm's sitting right there. Okay. But there's a dog guarding it. This is really bad news, to be honest, guys. He's sitting right by the alarm. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, I can go for some distraction techniques. So why don't we do that? Because I haven't showed you that yet. If you hit T, you will throw a rock, and you can use that to distract people. Oh, they're backing up. All right, this might be my perfect opportunity. Here we go. All right, so we're going to... All right, so the alarm has been disabled. So now even if they spot me... Doesn't matter, they cannot call for reinforcements. This guy's about to spot the body if he keeps going on his set path. No, he is not. Okay, so now I'm gonna go around the corner and we're gonna get him taken care of. Just like this. Come on. All right. Oops. We got it. So that's all you have to do. You you just clear out all the pirates within these camps, and it becomes yours. And now my friends are going to join me. You notice that right there? And they're here. So this is one of those challenges. I don't know what this one entails. I guess we can just do it. Uh, we, we also have these side quests. And let me show you guys again, if, again, if you missed the first video. So side quests are going to be these little blue things. I have not focused on those at all. What I've been focusing on is... Uh, killing animals to upgrade my stuff like the amount of weapons I can carry and my ammunition storage and the storyline and that's basically it but I, at any point I could go and do the side quest it doesn't feel super necessary you get XP and stuff and you level up and uh, let me show you here I actually have a few more points available so we can spend those you can see I'm continuing to make my way through the tree and I'm just kind of spreading it all out evenly uh, gain an additional health slot absolutely we will take that Without medicine, hold Q to perform first aid and heal three slots of health. Absolutely, I will take that as well. Um, so you can see I'm just kind of spreading stuff out here. It, it really does... At first I thought you'd only be able to choose between like a couple of the trees. It looks like you're going to be able to quite easily get all of them. There's nothing else beyond this level right here. There's not like another row or anything like that. And I'm not even... I would say I'm... I'm no, I'm not even like a third of the way through the main storyline and I'm getting close to finishing this here. So, yeah, you can just pretty much get whatever, but even this stuff, like, it's helpful, but it doesn't seem crazy necessary, you know? Faster reload time, that's fantastic. 
draw and fire arrows faster. Like all that stuff is definitely fantastic and it's pretty significant, but with a you know, with a good old AK-47 or and a sniper rifle and a shotgun, I think you I feel like you could just complete this game regardless. That may be incorrect though. There might be really hard enemies later on in the game. So let's just try this trial out, see what it is. Kill as many enemies as possible using the vehicle provided. This is going to be hysterical. I'm going to fail terribly. One thing you should know about me in Far Cry 3 is that I cannot drive the vehicles for crap. <laughs> the driving in this game, it eludes me, let me tell you that. Alright, so I just gotta run over people. It's just, um, it just feels weird. It's so, oh god, damn it. <laughs> Alright, hate you. Hate you too, there you go. Or wider. Okay. Great. I can fast. I can heal while I'm driving. That is silly. I'm just gonna keep going around in circles and, until I run out of time. I guess. <laughs> these these trials. I have to admit, these trials are pretty awesome. Uh, for the sake that it's something different to do. It's something interesting and different that you can do. You know. Different from the main game. Freaking helicopters, that is unfair. So I can just run people over and that's just what I'm doing. All right, get back here. I got you. Some guys down here. Oh no, trees. Fail, I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I not dead? Should be. That guy, what is going on? Am I on fire? Pretty close. Ugh, I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Anyone down here? I can't even see. There's smoke everywhere. My car is about to explode. All right, we got some guys over here. I got six seconds. That's gonna do it. I'm out of time. But hey, it's something different, <laughs> you know. And 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 with these challenges, with these trials. Um, it's just something you can do over and over again. It's something you can do to pass, pass the time. Try to beat your time. Try to get better. Nothing that I really personally care about, but it's something you can do if that's something you're interested in. It's a nice touch. It's a nice addition for this game. All right, so we just grabbed that. Uh, so you're gonna notice, see, notice the whole red area diminished. So they got rid of all that. Uh, there's another challenge over here, shotgun challenge. These are just weapon challenges. Um, let's go ahead and take out this camp over here. That is going to be my next goal, so we'll set that as a waypoint. That is right there, and let's take this crap mobile <laughs> on the way over. Let's take this junker. Now you know what I want. I want this car. Get out, you guys. Nope. Stop it. Hate. Is this drivable? What is this thing? That's not drivable. I'm being silly. Oh, you know what I should do before I leave though? I need to restock on ammunition. So the other thing about these little outposts is every time you take one, you gain access to one of these uh, storage facilities. And sometimes there'll be stuff in there like this collectible uh, memory card. And uh, looks like we got some stuff right there. Also just learned another formula, which is good. All right, so we're gonna restock on the ammunition. Uh, my, now my, ah, oh, damn it, that's not what I want. My possible storage is super high right now because I've gotten those pouches, as I mentioned earlier. Pick up our arrows. Definitely need to get an arrow quiver. Only being able to hold five is pretty ridiculous. And uh, hopefully I can show you guys some of the mines too. Now those are accessed, uh, everything beyond four. So one through four, your weapons. Uh, right now I'm sitting with my uh, main assault, shotgun, uh, the bow and arrow, and then the sniper rifle. And then beyond that, uh, I've got this little mine here, and just throw like that, and then, boop! Oh, damn it, I blew up my car. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> and then also I've got this little mine here, proximity mine. Okay, well, let's just, why don't we just truck it here? Ooh, is there a car right here? Is this broken down? It is, isn't it? No, it's not even accessible. Here's a, here's a vehicle, nope, stop. Get out. Thank you. Now it's mine. All right. This is much better. 
Now we're driving in style, guys. Now we are driving in style. It's so touchy. That is my problem with the driving. This isn't. I, I'm still. I'm still just talking about my ineptitude. Like that's. I realize that this is just my failure, but it just. It's so touchy. Oh no! Don't flip. Just drive your car off road. Come on. You got four wheel drive. You got big old tires. You get. Don't. Oh god! Don't spin out. Come on. Let's go. Readjust yourself here. Gain your composure. What are those things? Stupid little ostrich birds. We're gonna go over here. How close are we? We're pretty close. Yeah, we're getting close. Can I go over this little thing here? The answer is yes. Okay, here we go, guys. We found it. All right. Bunch of guys, there is the alarm. And they're, of course, they're all standing right next to it. But once again, if I hit that up, without any of them noticing, then we'll be good. Now, here is a pretty interesting thing as well. Caged animals will be in some of these, and if you just read that tooltip, if you shoot that cage from a distance, the animal will escape and start attacking people. Where is the animal? It's like it's right over there. All right, let's see who can spot me. Okay, so the animal's over there. Let me try going around from the other side. I'd like to just let him out and then book it and see if we can watch the carnage. I think that would be pretty fun. Oh, they've got dogs again? What's up with these idiots? Oh, the dogs are the caged animals. So. They don't see me yet. But I did cause a little uh, havoc in there. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. Unfortunately, it didn't kill anybody. Stupid dogs. Sometimes there's like a lion in there, and it's hilarious because he just rips their faces off. Oh, it is so funny. Shit! Come on, dog. I let you out, I freed you. You're really gonna come back and bite me in the arm? That is not cool, dude. All right. Let's get these fools. Nice little stealth takedown. I found like even looting them is kind of just silly. Sometimes you get like ammunitions and whatever, but a lot of times you get like one dollar. It's like, oh geez, thanks for the dollar. Really gonna help me out here. Okay, he's coming this way. So we're gonna go around a little all sneaky like. Alright, so we got the thing right there. Bad place to kill him. His body's so gonna get spotted. That guy's drunk. He's like stumbling around. He's gonna shit. Yeah, let's throw a rock with T. Here we go. Alright, I got it. Alright, we're all set. Now I could just start uh, taking them out one by one. Don't have to worry about reinforcements. And we are good. There are a lot of guys here, as is though. Forget reinforcements, this is ridiculous. This place is uh... Just chock full of guys. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 
and him. Oh, the alarm's off. What are you gonna do now? Oh, just give you a camp? <laughs> okay, sweet. That's okay, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. And it's mine, and my friends will come. And as I mentioned before, that is, I mean, that's basically it, you know? That's... So what you just witnessed was me take control of this entire area. First thing we did, was we grabbed the tower, which gave us vision. Then we went to the two outposts, which are always marked with those flags. And then once you do that, you've got full control. There's no more red. So I really don't have to worry about bad guys in this area anymore. Unless, like, for example, there was a quest area where there might be, like, a small group. But you don't have to worry about them patrolling. You, your, your clan, your team will gain full access to this vicinity. Uh, there's still plenty of things I could do here. Again, I could still go all, do all those side quests. I could try, like, the shooting challenge or whatever. I could run around and try to get all the collectibles. Do I need a goat thing? I think that's what I need. Don't I need that? Don't I need goat skin to get my uh, more bows? Should be some right over here, evidently. Let's go get some goats. Come on, goats. Where are you? Hmm. Are you a goat? You're a rock. <laughs> There's a Big difference between the, those two things. Wish I could see the goats. Are there any? Where are you guys? Oh, goats! Here, how about we do this? Why don't we go in here? We're going to hunting. Let me take a look at what I need for... I need... Oh, I've got enough. So, we're going to grab this hunter instinct, and then we're going to use it. And now, we can see animals from their scent. So, it's basically going to let me sort of see through walls. But if I'm not looking in the right direction, it's really not going to help. There we go. And are these the goats? Yes, they are. Perfect. So you notice that? Notice how I can just see them right now? That's Hunter's Instinct. That is that particular thing. And just like that, we have our goats. I'm gonna grab that goat skin. Don't know why the anima animation didn't trigger. It does most times. And then as soon as we have enough goat skins, it tells us you have a recipe ready. So then you just hit escape, and we'll be brought up to that. And now we can make... No, I don't want to make the simple grenade pouch I wanted. What the hell? Nope. Go back. Quiver arrows? Yes, wonderful. Goat skin. And the next one takes two tapper hides. But at least this one I can carry ten arrows, which is good. And then we can just run back here, restock, and then go back out and do a mission. You know? Stay away. I don't like you. Your friends did really not even notice that? Are you serious? Guys, you were bad to your friend. Bad dogs. Not even willing to help out your a friend in need who just got shot in the face with a shotgun. I am disappointed. In you, lassie. Alright guys, we're gonna do one more thing here to wrap up this video. After we get ourselves some ammunition, fill back up, okay, and get our 10 rounds there. And I used a, uh, what did I use? Used one of those, so we're gonna fill that back up as well. Okay, great. Now, how to finish off the video, how to finish it off. Let's think of something fun to do. You guys know about hunting animals. I've explained the crafting system for you. We've got all those collectibles, but who really cares about that? Um, why don't we just go, let's go to the old mines, huh? Let's go right there. So we're gonna fast travel here. Any point with those yellow, uh, those yellow sideways triangles you can fast travel to, and that's gonna put us nice and close. And then we're gonna go into the mine, and what I'm gonna do this time is, I'm gonna trigger the alarm. I'm just gonna go in there, guns a-blazing. 
And you know what, this is basically what you do in this game in, in terms of uh, going to new areas and un uncovering them and stuff like that and try to find a good vehicle. Oh, we'll just grab this garbage vehicle. Uh, that, that, that's basically what you do. Beyond this, there is a very in-depth story mode. I have, avoided, I have avoided showing you that for the sake of spoilers. Um, I just think it's really good and I don't wanna ruin it. Does that make sense? Would it be more logical for me to show you that so you guys can see how good it is? Well, there I guarantee there's some playthroughs up and running or some live streams where you can take a look at the story if that's really what you want to do. But Man, if you're not convinced to buy this game yet because of my bad driving, then I don't know what's going to do it for you. <laughs> All right, this time we're going to go up there and not drive off the ledge. This time, we're gonna do it right. I think the thing that kills it for me is that I can move my head around too. <laughs> that I can move my head around too while driving. I think that's the thing that kills it for me. I'm gonna launch myself here. This could be deadly, but it could also be really awesome. So let's just drive straight as fast as we can and see what happens. Here we go. That's fun. Oh my god, it's about to blow up. Get out. Would it blow up if you were underwater? Guess not. All right, let's go up here. Let's kill some more pirates. It's a, it's a, it's a really massive world, too. That's a really awesome thing. I've spent so many hours with this game, and I've only uncovered this portion. Stuff all over here and all over here as well. And takes a significant amount of time to actually traverse those areas. It's not like it's a uh, walk in the park. It's not like it's a walk on the Rook Island. No, it's not like that at all, idiot. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the mines. I skip that little area right there. I don't even know what that is. Oh, the mines are so far away. I hope they're what they sound like they are. Like, I hope it's legitimate, legitimately mines and... I have to go underground and all sorts of stuff. There's a multiplayer map that's the mines, and that's how it works. Oh, I should not be on the road for this long. Staying on the road is... Trouble a lot of times. Alright, I was able to break their vision there. Beeline it here, straight for the mine. Go out in a blazing glory. I mean, we could do all sorts of things. We could set up some proximity mines. You know? How far away is this thing? I've been walking forever. It's right there. You're so impatient. It's for you. It's all for you guys. It's because I love you. I want you to see as much as we can see here. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm not even going to spot. I don't want to scout these guys. Just go in and show them what I'm made of. First, fix your broken hand. Thank you. <laughs> All right. One thing I will do, though. We're going to set up a couple proximity mines. Set up one right here. And, you guys ready? Set off your alarm, guys. Set your alarm off, please. I'm gonna snipe you all before any of your friends even come. There you go, you spotted me, about time. Dog's here. Okay. Come on, guys, what do you got? I'm not impressed so far. You got a sniper up there, I gotta be careful for that. Oh my lord. Oh, got. Need to watch out for those guys. Knife guys will kill you right away. I'm dead. Ugh. What are you doing? Oh, snap. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Heal. Alright. Next. Where? I think these guys will just keep coming. I think that's how it works. What did you say about me? I don't think so. Is that really it? Come on, I wanted more than this. It's a bad weapon choice. Oh man, I was. Uh, it's been something else would have happened. Like there would have been. There's a lot of. There weren't really a lot of guys that came. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys, as we uh, take another look here at Far Cry 3, the open world shooter from Ubisoft. I gotta say, guys, it's a damn good game. Uh, you can expect at least one more video from me. Uh, I'm going to hope to do some multiplayer coverage. No, I'm not gonna do, I don't wanna do a let's play. Those things take up so much time and it's, I don't know, it's just a lot to do. No, I'm not complaining that it's too much work. What I'm saying is that like, I like to put a lot of effort into these videos and I feel like let's plays just really start to get boring after a while. And when it starts to get boring for me, it starts to get boring for you. If I'm not excited and stuff, then that's just a problem. So uh, I, I really wanna make sure that I'm bringing you top quality content and highly entertaining content as well. And uh, I will do more coverage. What exactly it's going to be, I'm not sure. We might do a first 40 of the multiplayer. I might show you some more footage uh, of the campaign as I progress through before the U.S. launch. And then after that, well, I guess you guys can just play the game yourself. So there you go. Thanks again for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.